Here with reaction, Fox News contributor Laura Trump, along with Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Let, let's start, Laura, your reaction to Senator Tim Scott, which I found repulsive. Uh, well, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, some of the commentary you heard there is in and of itself racist. How about the fact that maybe the Republican Party chose Tim Scott to deliver this message because he was well-equipped to do so? He's an intelligent individual. He's a well-respected senator within our party. Yet, of course, they defer immediately to race because that is all they know. And by the way, Joe Biden, if you say that you don't believe that this is a racist country, then I guess we'll be hearing you condemning Black Lives Matter. I guess you're going to come out and say that you no longer believe in critical race theory being taught in our school's 1619 project. Critical race theory teaches people and our children to judge one another not based on the content of their character, but solely on the color of their skin. It would have our children growing up hating this country and hating one another because they do not look alike. It is absolutely disgusting, but this is, again, it's, it's part of what the Democrats do. They always turn what they're doing and they try to say Republicans Republicans are doing it. What a disgusting display that was. Joe Concha, I've complimented you before. I, I think you are probably the best informed uh, student and columnist on the media. You deserve your own media show here on Fox, by the way. You do such a good job. And I honestly, you've been watching the media all these years. You ever see anything quite this bad? The fact that in this day and age of cancel culture, woke America, that you can say the things that were said about Senator Scott? Well, first of all, Sean, thanks for the kind words. Clearly, you have Venmo, and clearly, you got that payment that I sent you earlier for that introduction. So, thank you <laughs> for that. I appreciate it. I don't take compliments, well, I'm sorry. Uh, look, I, I want to go to that Biden interview, and I'll answer your question by just giving a small example as far as what we saw with him on NBC with Craig Melvin and how to push back when the president makes such a ridiculous claim. So Biden said that if he was closer than six feet during that interview, he would put his mask back on. So I would say if I were in Melvin's position, OK, Mr. President, you're vaccinated, correct? Yes. OK, I'm vaccinated, right? Yes. The vaccines work, right? Yes. So why do you have to put a mask back on if all those things are true? I want to hear the president answer that question because we saw it during the joint session to Congress where you have the president walk in with a mask on to get to the podium to take the mask off and everybody else, including the House Speaker and the vice president behind him, are both wearing masks despite everybody being vaccinated. And what we're seeing now and what you're not seeing in media reports is that vaccinations, while they were going up for months, rising steadily, in the past two weeks, we are seeing a drop now in terms of the number of vaccinations that are being administered. And I wonder if it's because of the optics that you're seeing there on the screen where lawmakers who swear that the vaccine works and swear that you should go out and get it, continue to wear masks when the CDC, to your point earlier, says that it is perfectly safe in indoor settings if everybody's vaccinated not to wear a mask. So optics matter, and this president and this vice president and this Speaker of the House simply do not get it. Thank you, Joe Concha. Uh, good luck on that show. You deserve it. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.